morning. I work in the beauty industry, and beauty is all I think about every day. So convenient, you might think. So this is probably how you're going to start the conversation with me. Uh, beauty. I think beauty is superficial. You should feel beautiful just as you are. Or, ah, oh, beauty, I'm so passionate about beauty. I want to have even nicer lips like Kylie Jenner. Made up your mind, people. This is what I encounter every day at work. Polar opposites. It's like it only comes to the beauty and that's only two pursuits. So it got me thinking. I look into how we come into these extreme polar opposites. And let me start by asking you these questions. How do you learn that you need to wax your legs? Okay, for girls. <laughs> And how do you learn how to cure your pimple? Is it from the education in your school? Or is it at the dinner table with your family? I learned how to wax my legs from a magazine ad. And I learned how to cure my pimple from a friend. Why did this happen? So when you really think about it, personal grooming is kind of like a taboo. The topic itself it's a human nature, but you don't openly discuss about it. So we ended up learning it in a very dangerous and unguided way. <coughs> this case, media has become our teacher. Imagine being bombarded by this for at least six hours a day. Naturally, we shape our beauty idea based on these carefully maintained and staffed models. And worse, the version of them after severe photo editing. <laughs> Scary, isn't it? That's why, on the other hand, we have this liberal movement waging wars against the media portrayal of beauty, championing internal acknowledgement above all else, like all else. So, it's like someone come to me and say, Sasha, you can only live if you choose between 20 years old body or 20 years old mindset. Not both. Choose now. Else you will die. Well, don't get me wrong. I think beauty ideals, it's there. I, I think fighting them is fallacious. Because what sets us apart as an individual human is that we set standard to things that matter to us and we achieve them differently. And when it comes to beauty and it comes to presentation of ourselves, it's the, it's the same. But the beauty idea shouldn't be so absolute. So that's why today I'm going to bring you through the beauty idea that I believe. I call it MSI. Sorry to disappoint, but it's not something scientific like knowledge, semantic ideology but it simply means the not-so-ideal beauty ideal. So you probably might be thinking, how is she going to do it? Beauty is so subjective. Yes, beauty is subjective because it's hard to measure. But inevitably, it boils down to just two factors, internal and external. So in my graph, I have the vertical axis, where it's the best you can look the best you feel about yourself is the internal factors, your self-esteem. And the higher it goes, the more confident you feel about yourself. And on the horizontal axis is the external factors, the best you can look based on society healthy standard. So when we talk about society, it takes into um, biologicals and cultural factors. As much as liberal movement wants to think this is debatable, but let's face it. Our eyes play a big role when it comes to making emotional decisions in every day in our life. So this axis represents exactly that. So before we move on, I want to gray out a part of the graph. This is where the media portray real beauty, the imperfect zone. The reason I gray that out is because, come on, beauty standard changes with times and culture evolve. That's why the media portrayal of beauty, it's a very poor yardstick. And we are humans. So 
we have imperfections like moles, like freckles, like maybe tea in your, you know, gap in your tea. So that's what makes us unique. So that's why, let's gray out that. And to make sure that we don't get too philosophical, let me introduce you my co-presenter, Mr. Inner Monster. <laughs> so I might have drawn him a little bit too cute because he's nasty. He's very tricky. He's the little factory in our heart. The manufacturers sell doubts and dissatisfactions. So, thank you. Stay there with me. So now, where do you think you are on this graph? 1 to 10, how good are you feeling about yourself? And 1 to 10, how good looking you think you are? Okay, you know, personally, I will not shout out enthusiastically in front of everyone, so you can keep it to yourself. Let me help you find your place. I break it down into four zones. So the first zone, I'm never enough zone. Yep, the monster is happy. So in this zone, people look gorgeous, but deep down, they harbor a lot of self-doubt. These are the people who normally you would give a like, eye roll, like, come on, you look so pretty and you want more. Because they harbor a lot of self-doubts, they measure themselves against the perfections that media portrays. So next one, oh, and then it turns into very unhealthy obsessions. So next, we have I'm out group. This group of people literally take the dissatisfaction to the full scale. They, they basically think like, I'm fed up, I give up, and beauty idea is dead to me. Because beauty idea is an illusion that I'm worthy of any effort. And next up, we have I'm all right group. With a smiley face, because these people feel good about themselves. They are optimists, and we have to applaud them because good attitude is hard to attain. So now we talk about beauty ideal. Where should it lies? Hmm. This empty space right here looks a little bit weird, don't they? This empty space right there is where I think our beauty ideal should lie. This is where we all should be in. It's when our perceptions of ourselves is in sync with the work that we put into self-grooming. And this is what perfection looks like. You should be you, but the best version of you. So, you see, achieving beauty ideal can be as simple as that. You just need to acknowledge the not so ideal beauty ideal instead of the unachievable standard set by media. And then you have to brutally honest about yourself. Where do you stand on this graph? And then you work towards the I'm great zones. So, in fact, I have been through a few zones myself. And this isn't convenient. Nothing in the world is convenient anyway. I wasn't born pretty. I was born really, really dark. And I was called names like Blackie. Why? Because fair is the Chinese beauty ideal, and I didn't have it. So let me show you how my friend tagged me on Facebook. This shadow right there is apparently me. <laughs> yep, that hurts. <laughs> and this peach, peach dark, it's apparently me as well. So. Now, I could have chosen to just stay in the I'm all right zones and find a way to live with it. But I was thinking, if I were to be dark my whole life, I might as well be dark in style, right? So I decided to work on myself. But unfortunately, I learned the self-grooming from media, so I ended up with very bad skins. That's where I made friends with... Um, Mr. Inner Monster, and I kept jumping between I'm out and I'm never enough. So along the way, I created this community with a mission to empower each other to feel beautiful. 
And since then, I have learned as much as they were willing to teach. So eventually, I moved closer to the I'm Great group. So, oh, thank you. Oh, so nice of you. <laughs> but did you know that only 4% in the world, 4% of women consider themselves beautiful? 4%, think about it. It might be your girlfriend, your spouse, your kids, your parents, your family. They are all not feeling beautiful. This is a very serious thing. And what we could do with that for the rest of us, with the rest of 96% of us, I have a game plan. Just two very simple steps. First, be realistic. Don't get yourself stuck up in the illusions. Be realistic. Find your zone in the, in the four different zones and work yourself toward the I'm great zones. So number two, once you find out where you are, just work towards it. Just be the best version of yourself. And that is what I want to tell you about today. So before I sign off, I want you to imagine this. Imagine a world that has more than 4% of women that feel confident enough to consider themselves beautiful. Join me to boost this number. Together, we can move towards our great zones and achieve our beauty ideal in our own unique way. Thank you.